At least I tell my team to go online. <laughs> we're live, don't worry. And we're back with our guest, Chero Ayana, CEO of Meta Terrace. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Ala. Thanks. Thank you for being with us. Tell us more about Meta Terrace. When did you start it and what is it? Meta Terrace uh, is in the FC, in the financial center in Park Towers. The idea started in November because we are, uh, have a crypto company, we develop NFT. So the metaverse start to become more, uh, more having more hype in the market through, through the name of Facebook, end yes. of October, they call it meta. So we create this concept, Meta Terras. So once we create the name, uh, it uh, was kind of a trouble because people were expecting like, okay, Meta Terras is there, but what is this concept about? So we are building uh, uh, the metaverse into the real life mm -hmm. and we are connecting everything together. The project doesn't exist anywhere in the world at the moment because every event we are projecting on the Meta Terras Live in Park Towers, it can be part in the metaverse. So today we are having the, the Zoom, we are having the YouTube stream. The future, the Web3 is taking us into the metaverse. So any event happening over there, we are projecting the metaverse. So if you are in the other side of the world, you just wear the glasses, which now they are quite big, yeah. but already in the market, they are coming the island contact. So everyone can experience just with the island, without this, this big thing which you're having it. And can be part, they can be part of the event in the terrace, which can be a crypto event, an auction, uh, a launch, a fashion, whatever is it, from anywhere else in the world. So the Web3 is changing the world. And within uh, 20, 24 months, we will see a massive adoption enter into the space. And we are guiding the people to the space. We are introducing this metaverse and the meta world to the people. And also we are building for them, whatever they do in fashion, design, uh, technology, industry, uh, pharmacy, mechanical, any kind of field, at the end is going to enter the metaverse. We are talking about uh, in 2000, when they start to build the website, people are like, we don't need this kind of stuff. 100%. Yeah. Today, everyone needs the website. Yeah. In 2008, 2010, they start to be the adoption of the e-commerce. Today, everyone has the e-commerce. In the future, the Web3, everyone is going to have their own metaverse, their own platform. But what I like about this idea that it's there in real life, but also in the metaverse. So the event will be here in Dubai in real life, but then people from all over the world can actually live and live the moment and be at the event. Exactly. We have uh, a plot in Sandbox. We purchase a land in the Sandbox. Sandbox and the Central Land they are the two biggest uh, uh, metaverse structure built since 2016, where today there is uh, Binance, the Emirates as yeah. well, they enter in the metaverse. Yes and they enter in sandbox as well. Yeah. So you are entering, entering the sandbox, you purchase our token, you can be part of the event from anywhere else in the world. And it look real, because this is the new technology, the Web3. Everything look three-dimensional and it look real. Like before in 1990, example, you're supposed to check about Burj Khalifa. You used to have the encyclopedia and check Burj Khalifa. Yeah. The Web2 brought you into Google. Mm -hmm. So you go on Google, put Burj Khalifa, is coming information. Yeah. The Web3, the metaverse, you are not connected to the internet. You are inside the, the internet. The internet, exactly. That's the best way, I think, to describe it. Uh, tell us more about, you have celebrities as well coming, right? To your, yes. uh, tell us yes. more about that. We are having Danny Alves coming on 28th of June. He's the, the most winning football player in the world. At the moment, he has a 43 trophy compared to Messi 37 and Ronaldo 32. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for the fourth one in the, in the World Cup. So we made a partnership with him and with Beckers and Strauss, which is a, a watch company based in UK since uh, more than 200 years. And we create this collection with NFT and watches based on each trophy that he won in his life. So it's the career of Danny Alves and he's coming on the terrace to, to launch itself for the project because uh, even the big people are already entering into the digital NFT and metaverse. That's amazing. But tell us more about behind the scenes. Like, what are the tech challenges that you would face? Because how can you guarantee that there is no uh, tech uh, challenges happen, especially that it's uh, technology and it's new, it's very new? The challenge is going to happen because the competition is going to, is going yeah. to be over there. Yeah. But of course, every, every week, every couple of weeks, when there is a new technology or new format entering the market, we are upgrading ourselves and we are updating ourselves. Mm -hmm. But of course, as you know, they say, who first arrive, first get served. So we are the first arriving in the market. Mm -hmm. The hype is big. And uh, through the, the VARA regulation, which uh, they just made, the Virtual Asset Regulation Authority, that uh, shake come down, uh, confined yes. in the market, they want to be the 
the hype of the world, the number one of the world, Fazza is a big visionary, so everything is happening here. And through this regulation, all the biggest companies in the world, they are moving to Dubai because they see the safety, the security, everything is regulated because, as you know, there is lots of uh, fake projects, scam projects. So. And that's why, like, I wanted to ask you, why did you choose Dubai? Because, as you said, like, it's very important, the regulation part of the crypto, because it's a new thing, but people are, some of them are a bit scared, but excited to enter that space. The big entity, they already know that, that this space is the future and is developing. Now, let's say, apart the, the USA, the Silicon Valley, where the big, big uh, yeah. players are there, Dubai, the app is getting big because uh, even geographically, geographically how, it's, uh, how it's located, it's connecting the Asia, the Africa, and the Europe within a five, six hour of flight. Mm. So it's comfortable even for the company to have uh, an app here, to have an headquarter here in order to be connected with the three continents in the four or five hour transit. So it's happening. It's and happening. Uh, to have a blockchain center, uh, now we've seen also like um, a partnership between Binance and Museum of the Future. So all of those things, when we hear about them from the government itself, it makes investors and I believe entrepreneurs and uh, startups to feel more safe to actually enter this space and do more uh, businesses here. Yes, they feel safe, they feel secure, they know there is a regulation, they know there is an entity behind, because uh, the blockchain is beautiful, but uh, uh, as we all know, it's in the blockchain. Yeah. No one can control it, no one can stop it, it's unstoppable. So having some kind of regulation, some kind of uh, protocol, some, um, some standard and some board and everything, it gives the safety to the company, which we are in this kind of technology, to be in Dubai, so they are monitored, in order even to the to the client, to the market, to the user, that they know that approaching a company which is based in Dubai is kind of a safety for them because uh, it's under some regulation of being a company like uh, in South Africa or anywhere else in the world where, uh, where everything can vanish from, from day to night yeah. and you cannot do anything. So yeah. it's safe, very safe. Exactly. Tell us more about the event, please, in the, that you're going to have. Also, like for individuals, how can they enter? Do we need to have a certain cryptocurrency to uh, purchase the tickets? At the moment, no, but uh, in the future, it's going to be, they need to have the, they need to hold the NFT on MetaTerras because okay. we are going to launch our project. So in order to be part of the project or coming to the Terras, you need to have like a kind of membership club, okay? Mm -hmm. But you're not going to see anymore this membership club or kind of paper. Everything is going to turn as an NFT. So we already host a couple of events with uh, Crypto Oasis, which is kind of partnering, work a lot with them, GameCoin. And actually, the thing is that whoever has an NFT or has a project in Metaverse, they have nowhere where they can showcase us, apart the biggest thing in the office. So we project everything for them. Like once, I hope you will come very soon, so well. you can understand <laughs> what you're talking about. Especially for gaming, 3D and NFT, we build everything for them. So when they come over there, they can have the real experience. And when they put the glasses, they can showcase all their projects to what they're doing in gaming, fashion, technology. We are planning to have a partnership soon with the big uh, uh, sport brand that we're going to combine together with Danny Alves and make this project in the metaverse. We're not going to reveal the brand name. <laughs> I cannot tell at the moment. It's okay. kind of, uh, <laughs> we are finalizing the deal, so I don't want to expose it. Yeah. We are having, um, with the other partner of ours, it's called ArtsDAO. They are bringing a celebrity now from, uh, from USA, a big celebrity is coming uh, hopefully this week, and they're going to host an event regarding the NFT with this celebrity. And uh, end of the month, we are having a uh, different event, end of June, with the Gulf News for the VIP event, because they are hosting an NFT exhibition. Mm -hmm. We are hosting Pablo Escobar, uh, we are building the metaverse of Pablo Escobar also, nice. in 3D and NFT. We are building the museum of Pablo Escobar in the metaverse, so it's happening. We have McGregor on board, which is um, next to Sanya, I can tell, because the, the deal is nearly done. And... Um, Whoever come over there, whoever person from any kind of field, once they experience the metaverse, you're like, what are you doing? Why don't you enter the space? So we explain them, we guide them, and I have a development company which can build everything for them. So That's, that's amazing because both companies can support each other and complete actually each other. Uh, what about, for instance, those collaborations and uh, those partnerships that you're making in MetaTerras and in your company? How do they add value and how important are they? They are the value because they don't have actually a place where they can showcase this. Like a game company, this is a company that was in Germany. So they came in Dubai just to launch this kind of event. 
Another gaming company which is Singapore, they are coming to Dubai to host the event and they already request to have the franchise of Meta Terras in Singapore. Mm -hmm. The hype is big and at the moment, thank God, there is no competition. Yeah. But uh, we are excited for the competition because we can learn from them and will give us more motivation to build more and to create more. But so. what's the positive side of being the first one to start this and the negative side, the pros and cons? At the moment, it's just positive because there is no competition. Yeah. You, know? you but, can test it, you can have mistakes, it's totally fine. It's easy. And uh, I don't see any controversial part because mm. uh, the space is big. Yeah. So um, it's not about having a normal business, like, example, having a restaurant, another restaurant open next to you, and like there is a competition. The place is big, the adoption is very small in the world. So when we see other people coming in the market, we are trying to create collaboration, partnership, like uh, Arts Now, which they build NFT. We are in partnership with them. There is Formal Lab, they are from UK, they are also very big. We are partner with them. So we don't see competition. Like in the blockchain for us, one plus one, it's 11, it's not two. Yeah. So um, we combine together, make each other stronger. And there is no better place than Dubai because uh, you meet people from all over the world mm -hmm. with different background, different experience, different vision. Once we combine all these things together, I think we can build uh, something huge. 100%. Um, were you scared or anything, especially in the past period of time, that cryptocurrency market is fluctuating, is not always like the same? So does that something could that concerns you as a business owner? Of it, uh, it doesn't concern because for a start, we are building this kind of technology and we are not... Um, um, it does, it's not important to us if the crypto market go up and down. Of course, it's very volatile, it's very manipulated. Yeah. But any fashion company start to build their own collection in 3D and launch in metaverse has nothing to do with the crypto space. Exactly. On presenting, blockchain. Yeah, yeah, an NFT, like example, there is diamond company like GIA, they used to issue the certification, they're going to issue NFT. So it's a completely different binary which run by itself and uh, the end user are the big company. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you so much, Cero, for being with us and good luck. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank many you. exciting stuff and projects in the crypto space and especially we're seeing here in, the, uh, in Dubai in particular. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in another episode of Smashy Crypto.